Hello everyone, this is Dr. Fox. Let's talk about the pleury. As you may recall, the thoracic cavity is divided into three spaces. Laterally, we have right and left pulmonary cavities. And between the two pulmonary cavities, we have the mediastinum. Now each pulmonary cavity is going to surround a lung and a serosal membrane that surrounds that lung. That serous membrane is called a pleura, and there are two components to it. There's a visceral pleura. That visceral pleura is what adheres to the organ, in this case, the lung. And then there's the parietal pleura, which is going to line all of the surfaces which comprise that pulmonary cavity. So thinking about them, the ribs and intercostal spaces are going to form much of the outward, uh, in particular, anterior, lateral, and posterior surfaces of that pulmonary cavity. And so they are lined by costal pleura. The medial surface of that cavity is the mediastinum. And so that is lined by mediastinal pleura. The inferior boundary of the pulmonary cavities is the diaphragm, and so that is covered by diaphragmatic pleura. And then there's a region above the thoracic inlet, um, so above the plane of rib one, which has a little cupula. That, uh, that cupula is covered by cervical pleura. And recall that in, uh, in some nomenclatures, the cervical pleura is nothing more than where the costal pleura meets the mediastinal pleura. Now let's take a look at some of these regions in, uh, in a more enhanced way. So along this surface would be the costal pleura. We can see, so that's costal. Surface of the lung would be visceral pleura. Here we can see the pericardium reflected away. And, and so lining this superficial portion would be the mediastinal pleura. Uh, we can see the phrenic nerve descending down through this space on its way down to meet the diaphragm, which we can see here. So there's the right cupula of the diaphragm, and so this would be the diaphragmatic pleura. And we've got a clavicle in the way here, so seeing that cervical pleura is going to prove difficult. So let's take uh, a couple of, of different views here. Um, let's, let's start on the left here, and we can see just above the plane of the rib some of this pleura there, um, superior to the rib. That would be the cervical pleura. We can also see the costal pleura reflected here and here. That mediastinal pleura has been removed as the viscera has been removed. And we can also see the diaphragmatic pleura covering the diaphragm. And on this view, we can also see the phrenic nerves descending down to each hemidiaphragm. So, uh, We've discussed the pleury and the components of a pleura, visceral, which adheres to lungs, and parietal, which adheres to the various surfaces which comprise the pulmonary cavity. So we'll have costal, mediastinal, diaphragmatic, and cervical pleura. Thank you for your time.